Hassan is Planet Side 2's first new continent since release, an arena of tenebrous swampland, multifaceted base layouts, and bioluminescent plants. While the open spaces of Esmir and Amorish favor vehicle play, Hassan is the playground for infantry. Woodman will start from the Eastern Warp Gate as the Terran Republic, and Miller will start from the Western Warp Gate as the new conglomerate. The first server smash lane lies above the neutral warp gate in the far south. Com Global Telegraph and the Finger, two open cap point bases separated by a small forested area with no neutral base to separate the combatants. This lane will be decided on which server can gain control of the other's capture point faster and hold on with little surrounding cover. Moving north, Hunter's Blind can be a treehouse of horrors if you aren't vertically inclined. This arboreal base can only be accessed from the ground by way of three jump pads. Look for each server to try and gain control of the ground around the pads before making a move in force to the point. Fights here are fierce, and players who don't look above and below are easy pickings for light assaults. One of the largest set pieces in PS2, Gurney Dam confronts both servers with limited paths to the point, and poisonous water that will kill you instantly. The point is a typical powerhouse building with attached crescent but the bridges to its island are narrow and easily choked, and the water will destroy even vehicles. Look for infantry to secure the point from the air, or for some fancy tightrope driving along the edge of the dam. Mason's Defiance is the central base of the con, accessed through the Lattice's central wheel of bases. The caves beneath the base containing C Point offer a unique fight, but the base is won or lost at B. Already an easy layout for attackers to dig in, B-Point rewards them even more with a vehicle and infantry terminal, making it practically a mini-enemy base. Nason's Defiance, despite its central location, is actually not the keystone of the middle of the map. This small base to the south of Akan is. The victor at Akan Southern Labs not only gains another access to the Biolab, they also open a lane directly into the heart of the enemy's territory, with no large outposts to oppose them all the way to the warp gate. An open courtyard surrounded by balconies and easy access from the air make the point here deadly difficult to hold. An island of the familiar in a sea of new bases, Akan is a typical biolab until it comes to its surroundings. Its connecting bases are tucked behind massive rock formations and narrow canyons that leave attackers on the ground highly susceptible to ambush. Unlike most continents, the biolab does not form a choke point in a larger lane and attackers will still need to push out of the area to secure their territory. Sometimes referred to as Clegg's Landing after its designer, Hade's Sky Dock is a biolab gone wrong. Only its constituent parts remain sunken into the ooze with no shield to protect infantry from the outside. Look for light assaults and infiltrators to use the wrecked skeleton of the dome to rain death from above. And crafty vehicle drivers can find creative parking spots inside the roof as well. One of the most unique bases on Hassan, the capture point at Kessel's antiquated crossing, lies below the superstructure of the bridge, hidden in a tangle of roots and debris that make close-in fighting a matter of necessity. Vehicle and infantry combat are well separated, so don't be surprised if there are tanks fighting on the bridge itself while infantry move for the point. The base has good approaches from each warp gate, and both will have equal lanes to A point. There are many different entrances to the point room, and players that don't keep their head on a swivel are likely to lose it quickly. Eight starting fights with very different locations and strategies, spread throughout eight kilometers of jungle. It will be up to the winner of these first battles to try and capitalize on their position and push the enemy back. Many of these bases become much harder to take once the base is owned by the enemy, so waiting to attack them later in the match is a risky gamble to take.